Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are starting up my new series that I'm so excited about. Um, it is the vampire series that I said I was going to be creating with the previous cast that I did for the vampire sim and let me tell you, oh, I'm so excited. So I wanted to do a trailer but as I was like planning it out and then just like about to start it I could not get myself to start it for some reason so I just feel like it was best that I didn't do a trailer for the series just because I you know I, I don't know I just feel like it's better that I don't do it okay so that is why there's no trailer up but yes I'm excited but I'm gonna still read you guys the storyline that I have picked out or not picked out but um written out for this series this series is obviously Lila's house, or secret, sorry, Lila's house, but Lila's secret, and this house I actually got off of the uh, Sims 3 resource, what the heck, Sims 3 resource, so if I can find the, the download link again, I will leave a link down in the description for you guys. It is just a, um, a Victorian type house. It's really pretty. Um, but yeah, so we are in Moonlight Falls and I haven't played the, in this house since, you know, Sims 3. Supernatural came out, so I'm ex super excited. I actually took away all of the uh, lighting mods that I had so that we could like really embrace Moonlight Falls lighting because it's gorgeous. So Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into the story. I'm sorry if I like like jumble over my words. I'm really tired. It's eight o'clock in the morning and I got about four hours of sleep last night and I have three videos to record this morning for, you know, today for both of these channels. So yeah, uh, I'm a little, you know, booked up right now basically. So anyways, let's just go ahead and read the storyline for you guys. Lila is a vampire. She has been a vampire since the late 1800s. At first, she hated the fact, but it ha it has slowly grow grew on her. She ended up loving it. She turned a few people and fell in love with being a vampire. Just the thought of turning people or feeding on people, she finds so much joy. She met her ex-boyfriend, Duncan, a few years after turning into a vampire. They were in love, but something just wasn't right between the two of them. Duncan was cheating on Lila the entire time. She broke it off immediately. A hundred and thirty years pass and Lila is trying to live a regular life. She has a regular job that she loves. She met her current boyfriend, Andrew, at this job. Andrew didn't know about Lila's secret about her being a vampire. Lila didn't know how to tell him or how he will act after knowing about her secret. So she has left it from him, but she has a feeling that he is starting to wonder about things. They live with each other after a couple of years of dating each other. Lila sneaks around a lot and disappears at night. And one night, Andrew woke up in the middle of the night, and he realized that Lila wasn't around. He looked around the house. Nowhere. He looked out back. Nowhere. He goes out front to see if she is around. He sees her over at the neighbor's house. He doesn't know what to do, so he just stands there. He realizes they are flirting with each other. Lila finally comes home and Andrew confronts her. This is where their story begins. So that is the story I have for this family. It's super short, super simple, but yet there's a lot of drama to be done in the series and I can't wait. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to the Sims and show you guys around the house. But the first thing I want to tell you guys is the Sims, obviously. So this is Andrew Meadows. He's over emotional, rebellious, family oriented, artistic, and athletic. His favorites are black, um, the color and the firecracker shrimp and epic music. He is a Scorpio. And his lifetime wish is actually to be master of mysticism. So I wanted to do the fortune teller career just because this is a supernatural let's play and that, uh, or that career actually was the one that came with, uh, supernatural. So I wanted to have a one person to have that, uh, lifetime wish. So that is why I gave it to him. It's kind of weird out there but I'm excited to have it have that 
Um, but all right. So this is Lila Gates. Um, she's flirty, supernatural fan, loves the outdoors, excitable and nurturing. Her favorite color is red and she's supposed to be a vampire. I'm pretty sure she's a vampire. I don't know why it says that her favorite is trip tip tofu steak. I don't know. Um, and she loves the music spooky and she wants to turn the town. So she wants to drink from 20 Sims and turn five Sims. So yes, I cannot wait. She also wants to join the fortune teller career. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to have her join the fortune teller career just because I know that Andrew wants to be a fortune teller. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave it up to him. So this is the house that I have downloaded for this. We have a cute little pond over here with some fish actually, a um, little pool and just a backyard, you know, hanging out area. We've got a um, little hot tub and all that fun, exciting stuff. So this house is actually just a, well, it could be like a one, two bedroom basically this is like a studio and this is the one bedroom and over here we have the easel that i'm going to have andrew um, actually paint because he he's artistic these are our two sims we have the upstairs bathroom which i love the you know items that the person that built this house decorated um the house with i love it and then downstairs, we have the dining room over here with a little, little cupboard, the um, kitchen, super pretty. And back here, we have the laundry room, washer dryer, um, another bathroom with the same appliances. And then we have the living room, no TV, because that is how we do. Um, I don't think they need a TV, so. And they don't even have a computer, so yeah. But super simple house. I love it. There's obviously no downstairs, but yep. So that is the house. Let's just go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to have Andrew go off and get the fortune teller career. Um, I know that it's like out in like the boom docks, basically. No, just kidding. It is not like around the houses. Um, okay, there's the, like, the fairy home. Okay, here it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and join a fortune teller career. And also, Duncan, her ex-boyfriend, actually lives right over here. I wonder if he's still outside. No, of course he's not because he's a vampire. He did probably take, you know, the indoors. So, he wants to learn the painting skill. Acquire an elixir. We can definitely do that. Um, buy a street art. No, it's okay. Alrighty. So while he's going off to go get a job, I don't know if I want her to work because she's going to be um, pretty busy at turning some sims. And I think, you know, she doesn't need to have a career um, because they're pretty well off. They have 46,000 simoleons, but you know, Eventually, someone's going to have to have a career. So, he's going to be in the fortune teller career. So, let's go. Um, all right. So, he is going to make 20 simoleons per hour. He has Tuesday and Thursday off. Um, some people have special gifts to see beyond our simple existence and interrupt the movements of the universe itself. Divine the patterns that guide all of our fates. This this gift can be shared with people for, for money, but will you focus on the simoleons or the strength of our astral spiritual connection? <laughs> so funny. All right. So he starts on Monday at 1 p.m. Noise, noise. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Why are you heckling her or hackling, heckling, whatever? Why? Why? I like that name, Daydream Ivy. I also love this fairy house. Just saying. It's so pretty. Okay, who is this? Oh, another Ivy person. Must be, must be like twins or, you know, or actually that must be her mom. I don't know because she looks like she's a teen. I'm not sure though. Um, okay. 
Anyways. All right, we're going to go ahead and let him come home. Oh, sorry about the yawns, guys. Uh, she wants to visit the Vault of Antiquity and visit the Arbitorium. Okay. I guess we can do that, but we got to wait because you don't have that special powers to be able to walk in the sunlight yet. So that is one thing I definitely want to get for her is that lifetime wish. So we just might. Uh, she wants to flirt. Um, well, I mean, we, we're going to have to try and make up with Andrew anyways. So maybe, maybe we might uh, just like flirt a little bit. Oh, the one thing I wanted to do actually is come into seasons and take away snow and take away winter and I'm going to leave small of small. Um, I read summer and fall together and I put them together. I'm going to put summer, fall, and spring, but I want snow and um, yeah, that that's how I'm going to do it. I don't think we need to have uh, winter because it is moonlight falls. I just don't feel like it fits the fits fits the town, I guess you could say. So I'm going to have them just kind of talk and um, just kind of clear the air. Um, a friendly hug. Obviously, she... Oh, Jorinka Sims Plasma. Yes. Obviously, he does not know that she is a vampire yet. He, you know, suspects some things, but definitely does not know that he or she is a vampire. So... Eventually, eventually, he'll find out. Um, like, see? Confess of being a vampire. He doesn't know. So, eventually, we'll definitely have her, um, tell him. So, we're gonna... He, she wants to drink somebody's plasma, so we're gonna do a hypnotic gaze. Let's try and see. I mean... Oh, oh, Lila thinks Andrew Meadows is smoking hot. Um, he doesn't have to remember this, so. It's called a hypnotic gaze after all. So, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm yawning a lot, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and fast forward. See if it works. Um... She's like, wait, sorry. I'm going a little crazy over here. Um, let's try this again. No. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go out. Um, let's see. Let's go to the Red Velvet Lounge. I believe that, yeah, it's 2 p.m. to 7 a.m. Is that what it said? Yes. And we also have some vampire hangouts, I believe. It's been a while, so I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that is like the vampire hangout. Um, I could be wrong, though. I don't know. I don't remember, guys. It's been forever. But I guess we'll see. We also have the toadstool, which kind of actually sounds like something a fairies would be going to. And then I believe that we have another bar somewhere. Um, but it's actually like more toward aims toward like werewolves and stuff. So um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it is. I don't know. But first and foremost. Oh. Ooh, she's in her little, you know, good formal attire. Uh, she wants to have a drink. And she wants to meet a werewolf. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, hopefully she might um, meet a werewolf eventually. Okay. Oh, she's like straight up pregnant over here. Crazy. Alright, um, we are going to... Um, Oh, is he not going to attend the bar or something? Is he not attending the bar? I don't think so. Read mind. Ooh. Okay. We're going to go ahead and have a quick drink. And like I said, she does want... Oh, Miss 
Frida, Frida Goth died of a fire, it looks like. Um, who is this? Who is this? He looks like a werewolf, like... Um, let's do a friendly introduction to him. We'll just wait on that drink because apparently it's not working for her, so... Let's just, you know, meet that Argus guy. Oh, I really do like this, this, this lounge. Oh, he is a, vi or a werewolf. Nice. Wow. Is everyone going to be like super like into us? <laughs> like, geez. All right. We're going to go ahead and, you know, enthuse, consider attractiveness, I guess. And, you know, ask if he's single. Why not? Ask about his career. Um, share. Oh my goodness, guys. Everyone's like attracted to us. And obviously my cats are going crazy right now. So make silly face. He is single. Show funny video. Show gross video. You know, all that fun stuff. Okay. You know, let's try and get him, you know. A l oh my goodness. Jeez, she is like really into him. Okay. Obviously, I'm gonna come into this room before we like suck his blood so that, like, you know, just not some random people come. Oh, oh, another thing I wanted to do was come into here and opt our active household out of the celebrity. I do not want them to become celebrities whatsoever. Um, okay, so we're gonna come here. Um, where's Argus? What, what, what are you doing? Call over. Hey, dude. Did you have to pay? You have to pee, too. Oh, my goodness. She is tired. Okay, so come here. Go in there. Okay, thank you. And we are... Um, I guess form group. Okay. Okay. Go here. Come on. Come over here. Dang it. Okay. Um, let's do... Can we do the hypnotic gaze? Let's try this. Let's do this. I guess that, you know, we have to go to him because apparently he doesn't want to come to us. Um, doesn't know what to do. He has been dazed by Lila Gates' hypnotic gaze. Okay, so we're going to go. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead and drink him. I know everyone's around here. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't freak out. All right, guys, this is her first victim. This is her first drink. Oh my goodness, these cats. Hopefully, you know, because, like, he's a werewolf. So hopefully that doesn't affect her. <laughs> um, okay, so a hunt. Alright, I don't know why. Um, no, no, not right now. I don't know why that didn't go away. That's weird. Okay. You two need to chill out over there, okay? Okay. I right, she's gonna go tinkle. Okay, good. All right, that did count, right? Yes, okay, cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head home. Actually, we need to, no, no. Let's go ahead and ask the lead group, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed myself. We should hang out some more. Okay, okay. Um, who is this? Let's do a friendly introduction. I just want to meet a bunch of people so that we have, like, people lined up. Oh my goodness. People are fighting over there. Friendly introduction. Wait. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm another werewolf. Or no, that's a witch. Sorry. Um, oh. 
Um, yes. Okay. I do have the save, like, mod, like, the saver mod installed. So, if that pops up, I will save because I don't want to lose any progress because I've, my, my game has been crashing recently and it sucks when that happens, especially when you, like, record for a half hour and it just goes away, you know? It really does suck. So, after this saves, I'm going to go ahead and let her go home because she is, um, tired um, she wants to befriend a witch, so we'll do that. We'll do that. And Alice is actually human, so we can definitely change her into a vampire. Um, we just have to be, like, good friends with her, I think. So, yeah. Hope hopefully you guys are looking forward to the changing of everybody. The turn-in, I guess you could say. Um, alright, so he's already asleep, so he doesn't, you know... He, he doesn't realize that she just went out, you know, for, you know, the entire night. She's not getting in at 2.30 a.m. Nope, 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 nope. She's, she's been asleep the entire time. So, my cats are, you know, driving me insane with being super duper hyper. It's always this time of the morning and it's super late at night and it's annoying. I think it just, oh, oh. Ooh, I was going to say, really? Like, I'm just about to end it. Come on. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys are looking forward to this series. Um, I cannot wait. Um, it's going to be so fun. And the, the further we get into it, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, I think. It's going to be, it's going to be something that, you know, I don't really ever do. And I'm excited to kind of see where their future leaves, like, goes to if they're going to be, like, together. Um, if, you know, he's going to ask her to turn her. It's, you know, it. you never know. Things could happen. And, yes, I'm excited. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to this Let's Play. Again, I cannot wait. Um, but, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I will talk to you guys all in my very next one. Bye, everyone. Disappointed